Thank you for coming on the show, Juan. Uh, can you please it. state your uh, full name for the cameras? Well, uh, you know, uh, 145938, we believe it uh, in my company and not owning the position, so we just have our but that's a, serial that's, number. But, that, but that's a number, not a name. Well, there are more numbers than there are names. So 145689 is your, is your yeah, name? Yeah, but you can call me Juan. Juan. Well, thank you, Juan. Um, now, the Disconnects project, it's a huge project for the state. It's, a, it's the biggest infrastructure deal in the country. Well, thank you. Thank you kindly. I'm sure you appreciate how important it is that we build the infrastructure and it is a, a conduit for economic prosperity uh, into the future. For two years, the, the corporation has valued this, the official estimates are $16.8 billion, but yeah. the City of Sydney recently came out and said it was going to cost $45 billion. Now, you could drive a truck through that. Can you Well, can you we walk hope we could drive a truck through it. That's the purpose of it, actually. Uh, well, can you explain? Semi-trailers? Oh, well, it's just an exchange rate issue, uh, depending on which dollars you're talking about. You know, US, Australian, New Zealand, Singaporean. Well, we're talking Australian, so it's, what's yeah. it going to cost in Australian dollars? What's well, going to cost what you just said? What, 16.8 or 45? Yeah. yeah, both those. And, and, and so. Because it's very hard to get to 45 unless you've gone through 16.8. Well, and so. So they were accurate, those figures. Both sets of figures. Both sets of figures are accurate. Everyone's a winner. Right, and you're going to sell. You're going to sell this, this project. Yeah. You're in the process of selling it yeah. right now. All projects are for sale um, all the time for the appropriate price. Uh, we could sell it back to the New South Wales people if they wanted it. Maybe they don't want it. There's a lot of opposition to this deal. If you want to go back to a, a less developed time, uh, it's all right for people in well-to-do areas who can uh, uh, live without working for a living. Um, but uh, for the rest of society, they need the infrastructure to move people and goods. And some motorways of the future. The future. Otherwise, you're just living in a ghettoized community uh, in silos. And uh, travel is morally good. So to go from one suburb to another, one country to another, uh, it's the same thing uh, in terms of expanding your, your mind. Uh, you know, you, you get to see how other people live and uh, um, get out of your uh, mindset. And so what do you say thing. to critics of this, this, this Disconnects project that uh, it's incredibly, it's cloaked in secrecy and that nobody can tell what's going on, but it's a huge fee fest for investment bankers and lawyers and, and, and other consultants. Well, that's just paranoia, frankly. You know, they say that the Da Vinci Code was mysterious, uh, but that would be like saying that the Vatican is, uh, is not transparent. It's not, it's not correct. It's a, a fully functioning global enterprise, the same as uh, Disconnects is. Well, it's more transparent than, than PwC and EY and other um, consultants involved in the, in the Disconnects yeah. project, of course. We don't even know what those acronyms and initialism stand for. Indeed. Our engineering is, is first rate, really. Uh, well, you have a track record of building a uh, track record, global yeah, projects. A record of track. Yeah, we've, we've, uh, we're really good at uh, things that you can see above ground mm -hmm. and things that you can't see. Um, uh, like the Roselle interchange. Now, what do you say to critics of the Roselle interchange that just because it hasn't been designed uh, yet or built? Uh, well, we've got some Italian engineers who are helping us. It's kind of a subterranean spaghetti junction. Well, spaghetti is probably the wrong word. It's more, more like uh, uh, more like penne because you know it's it's tubular, um, and in some senses it has a lasagna element because it's of the sedimentary. Uh, geology involved. I don't think you're taking me seriously. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I've, uh, it's, it's a very using, good explanation. Just yeah. using a metaphor here. Yeah. Now you lost me a little bit at the lasagna. I was with you in the penne, but the lasagna well, was its obviously a very big engineering feat. For, it, it is. Which hasn't been accomplished yet. Well, you, you don't want to rush into these things. But you're going to sell it. You've said you're going to sell something yeah. which doesn't yet exist. Well, we've, we've, we've got uh, uh, a feasibility uh, study underway. Uh, we've got a task force looking into it and an advisory panel uh, checking out the, uh, the, the development. Who's on, that, who's on that panel? Who's in the task force? Uh, there's 4589 and uh, 2326 is there. Um, but you can always get back to us through our PR uh, 
consultancies. We've got a distributed network of organisational and corporate communication. So what do you say to people that, that say that, you know, already people in the city are spending $100 a week or more on, on tolls just to get to work? Disadvantaged people who aren't very wealthy. When you think of it, it's a trade-off of time versus money. So they might spend an hour getting to work now, but it might have been three hours beforehand. So they're a good thing. They're, they're inherently good, they're good for individuals, and they're good for uh, the economy as a whole. And for taxpayers? For taxpayers, they're very good, and you know, what are you going to do with your tax dollars? Uh, you could uh, uh, invest in more politicians, uh, you could invest in uh, sending a person to the moon or to Mars, or you could invest in infrastructure that makes your economy just, you know, come to life. Well, thank you so much for, uh, for, for joining us today, uh, Juan. Thank you, Michael. And uh, we'll chat again soon. Thank you very much.